can I do for you, sir? Uh, well, sir, it's, uh, this rug I have, it really tied the room together. Happy 20th birthday to the dude. That's right, the Coen Brothers cult classic, The Big Lebowski, was released two decades ago. And since we couldn't find a rug to really tie the room together for the big occasion, The Hollywood Reporter decided to celebrate by taking a look back at the iconic comedy stars and examine where the actors are today. You're Mr. Lebowski. I'm the dude. Of course, we have to start with the man himself, El Duderino, if you're not into the whole brevity thing. Jeff Bridges played the lead role of Jeffrey Lebowski, better known as The Dude. Mistaken for another Lebowski millionaire, his house is broken into by two thugs who demand money from him and urinate on his carpet. With his bowling friends as his sidekicks, he seeks revenge for his ruined rug. Since Lebowski, Bridges has starred in various films such as The Contender, Crazy Heart and The Coen Brothers' True Grit. He was nominated for an Academy Award for all three films and won in 2009 for Crazy Heart. You see what happens, Larry? Time to market zero as we move on to Walter. Prior to The Big Lebowski, John Goodman starred in several other Coen Brothers films, including Raising Arizona and Barton Fink. He is best known for his role as Dan Connor and Roseanne, for which he won a Golden Globe for Best Actor and returns to star in the upcoming reboot. He has also appeared in other major motion pictures such as Argo, The Artist and Trumbo. Do you like sex, Mr. Lebowski? Excuse me? Before playing Maud Lebowski, Julianne Moore starred in The Lost World, Jurassic Park and Boogie Nights. She also appeared in Paul Thomas Anderson's Magnolia and Alfonso Cuaron's Children of Men in 2006. Moore received an Academy Award for Best Actress for Still Alice in 2014. Woo! <laughs> I'm slamming it tonight. You guys are dead in the water. Walter may really, really need Donnie to shut up, but Steve Buscemi is never out of his element. The actor has worked frequently with the Coen brothers, having appeared in Miller's Crossing, Barton Fink, The Hudsucker Proxy, and Fargo. He has also directed several TV shows, including Oz, The Sopranos, and The Unbreakable Kimmy Schmidt. Buscemi went on to co-star in another Coen brothers film, Oh Brother, Where Art Thou? Hello. Do you speak English, sir? Parla usted English? David Huddleston is the big Lebowski, the real millionaire the guys are after. Huddleston had some TV appearances before being cast in the film, including on Shotgun Slade, Mary Tyler Moore, and Gunsmoke. After Lebowski, he continued working on television and appeared in Gilmore Girls and It's Always Sunny in Philadelphia. He died in 2016 at age 85. Start talking and talk fast, you lousy bum. We've been frantically trying to reach you, dude. Philip Seymour Hoffman, known for his Oscar-winning role in Capote, was one of the industry's most well-respected actors. He played Brandt in The Big Lebowski and helped the dude find Lebowski's mansion. He starred in Paul Thomas Anderson's Boogie Nights in 1997, for which he gained recognition and propelled his acting career. Hoffman died in 2014 from a drug overdose. Nobody fucks with the Jesus. We'd never mess with the Jesus. John Turturro is an Emmy-winning actor who has also been nominated for four SAG Awards and two Golden Globes. He played Jesus Quintana, the dude's bowling league enemy. Turturro kick-started his career in the Martin Scorsese film Raging Bull and since then has appeared in several movies by Spike Lee. He is set to direct a film based off The Big Lebowski called Going Places. Sam Elliott is one of Hollywood's most seasoned actors. He played the narrator of The Big Lebowski, known as The Stranger. He's appeared in Hulk and Ghost Rider since then and appeared in the Netflix series Grace and Frankie. He also has a series on Netflix with co-star Ashton Kutcher, The Ranch. Well, I hope you folks enjoyed yourselves. Get you later on down the trail. So, how are you celebrating the dude's 20th anniversary? And why do you think this classic has stood the test of time? Let us know in the comments. For The Hollywood Reporter News, I'm Lindsay Rodriguez.